Gaston County tonight, a sobering prediction from the county judge. He says there could end up being 20 or more deaths there. All in connection with the power outages and people just trying to stay warm. Our Courtney Zabowski leads off our team coverage tonight live in Texas City. Courtney? And that is the fear right now because it has been so cold for so long. The Galveston County judge and the chief medical examiner confirming that they have requested a refrigerated truck from the state because they don't think they're going to be able to handle the capacity here at the medical examiner's office. 59 degrees. No power, no heat in Kima. Freddie Eveland and his family spent the night inside in the cold and the day warming up in the car. Anytime there's a hurricane, we prepare fully. We have linemen on standby and stations ready to go. Uh, the fact that there was none of that here, it's, it's kind of disturbing. And what's disturbing Galveston County Judge Mark Henry even more is when loss of power leads to loss of life. We listened to the police radio this morning. It was almost nonstop welfare check, welfare check, welfare check. And you just have to know that a number of those are not going to end up favorably. While there are no official numbers, the judge estimates that there could be upwards of 20 cold weather related deaths. The medical examiner's office wouldn't have room, especially since some funeral homes have lost power and can't house bodies. He's livid. Sunday evening, we were asked to convey the message there'd be rolling blackouts. That's fine. That makes sense. There were no rolling blackouts in Galveston County. The power was shut off and it has not come back on yet. At one point, 90% of the county was without power. I don't know what to say. This was predictable. You guys covered it for a week before the event, and yet the Energy Reliability Council, I'd say that the most unreliable thing we have around here. Freddie Eveland isn't relying on the power coming back on tonight. His brother has a generator. He's actually got it tied to his house that's with natural gas, and we're probably going to head over there tonight. I don't think we're going to ride it out here. Yeah, not taking any chances here in Galveston County or many other parts across the viewing area. The Galveston County Medical uh, uh, Examiner's Office also takes care of Brazoria County and Matagorda County. The chief medical officer does tell us that she should have more information on the number of deaths and the causes behind them in the next couple of days. We're live in Texas City. Courtney Zabowski, KPRC 2 News.